Hi folks, welcome to another Fusion Friday. Two cam tricks which I bet you didn't know about. I may be wrong, but let's have some fun here. Here's a great example of where I've got a 1 8 inch radius on this inside pocket there, and I love my shear hog and adaptive roughing this out, which is awesome, but unfortunately I'm still left, when I simulate you and you'll see, I've got a fair amount of material in these corners. Now, a great strategy, frankly, would be to take um, a smaller end mill and still do another roughing strategy that just gets rid of that last material. But the other thing you can do, which you probably all know, is just a 2D contour, and we'll pick a tool for me, say 31, which isn't actually long enough, but let's assume it is, and it, it does our tool path. The problem is you're, gonna, you're going to massively load up that tool when you dive into the corners. You can see there, it's, well, it's red because uh, my tool is not long enough, but you know you can go in reverse too. <laughs> Way too much material, especially when you're trying to create a finish pass. So, again, best suggest place would be to 2D rough it, then come in um, and do a finish pass. But what you can do, which is so cool, is under your passes, Check out this last little hidden guy called Feed Optimization, which is a terrible name because it doesn't really tell you anything about what it does. What it does when you hover over is specifies a slower feed rate to be used when the tool is moving in the X direction while cutting material. So what it do will do is basically slow down when you get into a, a corner that meets these criteria. So I, let's say I want to slow down um, when I get a quarter inch away and I want to instead of going at the full speed of say 21 inches a minute let's slow it way down to like three inches a minute click OK the coat the lines look the same but you can actually see or the toolpath but you can see now here it's gonna slow down as it comes into that corner so it's a great way if you've got to use a long tool and clean something up there's just no other choice take advantage of that the other thing tip number two today so cool there's hidden features. I'm actually really pissed about this because I didn't know about it until Mr. John Grimsdale himself showed me. But you would think all the cam stuff would be up here. It's not. Right click, new operation. Look at this hidden little manual NC line. Click on that, and I'm just going to put a comment in here. Wipe part interior prior to finish pass. Click OK. I'll drag that up here. And now, check out when you post this code. It's going to stop the part or the program, and it, the operator is going to, oh, of course, I got a really long program here. It's going to stop this program, and it's going to give me this comment line that I can see from the machine. I can remind myself to do, to do something, to clear something out, to manually set a tool, uh, fixturing comments, awesome, awesome tool. There's actually more to this that I haven't played around with. Um, and I don't know if they work with the posts that I'm using at least, but like dwell, look at this stuff, calibrate, verify, clean, print a message. Really cool, right? I, I'm, I can't believe this, this stuff was hidden. So that's a quickie on today's Fusion Friday. Take care, folks. See you soon.